Hi guys, Georgette here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming in with a pattern haul. Now these are all of the patterns that I've picked up since my last haul. And I have some new patterns, some not so new patterns, and some vintage patterns in this giant stack. So let's get into it. All right, first up is Simplicity 8951, and it's the Banded Cardi pattern. Now, I knew when this first came out that I had to have this pattern. I have so many knit fabrics that would just look beautiful in this cardigan, and it took me this long to get it because I kept missing the Simplicity sale. But finally, I just happened to be in Hobby Lobby one day, and they were having their Simplicity patterns for $1.99. And this was one of the first ones in my cart. Here's the back of the pattern envelope. You can see there's four versions. And what I really love about this pattern is that it just doesn't take up that much fabric. So it means I'll have a lot left over so I can make something else. And I am really, really excited to jump into this and start making some cardigans. And that's the first one, Simplicity 8951. Next up is another Simplicity pattern, and I got this at the same sale. This would be 8992, and it is a long cardigan. So this is one of those patterns where you can hack it and kind of customize um, whatever look you're going for. So as you can see, you can shorten the sleeve length, you can shorten the hem length. I actually like all three, well, I actually like all four versions of this, so I might end up making all four because I do have enough knit pat knit fabric that I could potentially make all of these garments. So let's take a look at the back. Here is the back of the pattern. You can see the line drawings here. There we go. Yep, and that is Simplicity 8992. Next up is Butterick 6169, and I picked this up specifically for this jacket. Now this pattern's from 1992 and I remember having like three or four pairs of jackets just like this. So when I saw the pattern, I knew I had to have it in my wardrobe. Now this pattern is sizes 6, 8, 10, so that's a little small for me. I am going to have to size up um, to a size 12, but that shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's a couple inches on the, on the side seams. And here are the line drawings. You can see it comes with a jacket, a top, skirt, shorts, and pant. Let's see that again. There we go. So you can get the t-shirt that goes under the jacket, shorts, pant, and there's the skirt. Yep. Okay, so like I said, this pattern is from 1992, and it wants fabrics such as cotton broadcloth or light woolens, lightweight linen, chambray, chalet. Um, yeah, it seems like it just wants lightweight fabrics for this, which makes sense because the jackets that I had were all very lightweight and kind of silky. <laughs> and that is Butterick 6169. Next up is New Look 6265 and it's an easy pattern. I got this one because of the sports bra. Now on my make nine list I said that I wanted to make some more bralettes and I think this just might fit the bill for what I'm looking for and because it's it's a bralette it's going to be a scrap buster so I get to use up some of my knit fabric and I love that. I also love this sleeveless tank right here I think that could be pretty interesting, especially with the contrast. Let's see what the back has to say. Um, here are the line drawings. I also love that it comes with this bag for your yoga mat. I think that's pretty cool. This pattern, if I didn't mention it, is from 2003. And that is New Look 6265. 
Next up, I have a Butterick 4079. This is another athletic wear pattern, and I picked it up mainly because of this raglan sleeve t-shirt. I'm still looking for an awesome long sleeve t-shirt pattern, and hopefully this one works out. Um, because my last couple of ones surely have not. <laughs> this pattern is from 2003. And let's take a look at these line drawings. You can see there's a jacket, tank top, raglan sleeve tee, short, and pant. All knits, of course. But this should be a fairly easy pattern to whip up, and I'm hoping to be able to get to that pretty soon. That's Butterick 4079. And now we are getting more into the vintage patterns. So this one is McCall's 5300, and it's a Marlowe's Corner pattern. I actually picked it up for this blouse right here. I thought this was really cute. Although this knit fabric kind of makes it look like a pajama top. It also might be just because of this added fullness in the blouse. I don't know if this is a stiff fabric or not, but it looks a little stiff. So I'm sure it's gonna look really cute in a nice drapey knit. Let's take a look at this back. Here are the line drawings, and the suggested fabrics for this are lightweight cotton, cotton blends, I don't see the jersey, oh there you go, matte jersey, lightweight knits. The notions you're going to need for this are thread, optional seam binding or stretch lace, That's for and a button and two snaps, depending on which version that you make. So not that much, not that many notions, which is good. There's not that much going on in these patterns. I love this keyhole. I don't know if you guys can see this. That keyhole is so cute. I actually might make that one first. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But that would be McCall's 5300. Next up is this Butterick 4583. And this is a blouse pattern. Um, I don't know what year this is from, but it looks a little 70s to me. So I'm going to go with that. I really love this green one. I like that collar, how it's like a wide mandarin collar. I think that's pretty cool. So there are five versions, as you can see, and it's a size 16, which means it's slightly too big, so I am going to have to size down, but I'm kind of used to doing that with these vintage patterns. Here are the line drawings. You can see, like I said, there are five options. And then the suggested fabrics are soft fabrics, which makes sense. And for the notions, you're going to need some buttons, um, an invisible zipper, ooh, hook and eye, seam binding, snaps, and more seam binding. This invisible zipper is for, what version is that? Oh, version E. They put an invisible zipper in the center back. All right. And that would be Butterick 4583. Next up, I have McCall's 4138. This was the envelope that the pattern came in. And this is the actual pattern front. So I'm not sure where this picture came from. Probably out of, a, um, out of one of the books. But uh, this is the actual pattern. It's from 1974. It says it's a carefree pattern. <laughs> they do look a little carefree. I actually picked this pattern up because of this picture. I really liked this blouse and I know I have some fabric that would work well with it. And then when I opened it up and I saw this, I just thought that was an extra bonus because it's coming with, it comes with the pant, the blouse and I guess this is the tie and had I just seen this picture by itself I probably would have just passed right by it so I'm, I am glad that I picked this up because for some reason this even though it's close to the same fabric just looks very different to me <laughs> but you've seen the line drawings let's check the fabrics uh, let's see they want Cotton broadcloth, cotton blends, chino, lightweight gabardine, linen, PK, and so forth and so on. For your notions, uh, thread, obviously. Buttons for the shirt. Zipper for the pants. And 
hook and eye seam binding and stretch lace. Okay, so that one is McCall's 4138. And finally, I have Simplicity 7091. Now this was the envelope that the pattern came in, and this is the actual pattern itself. It looks like someone cut off the front. So the pattern artwork, they cut off the front of that. However, they kindly included this picture. And I'm guessing this came out of one of the, what is this, Simplicity Books. So here are all three dresses that are included within this pattern, and I fell in love with this one, but I'm really liking this one with this scarf. <laughs> Technically, I, do, I think they're the same thing, but um, that scarf just makes all the difference, doesn't it? <laughs> so that was fun. I'm glad they included that so I could see the other dresses. Um, they're also here on the instructions, but it makes a big difference to see it in color. Alrighty, so this one is a size 16, which means it's a little bit big, not a big deal. It's from 1975, this pattern, and here are, here's the back of the pattern itself. There we go. So you can see the line drawings and the pattern pieces. I'm still trying to figure out the difference between, oh, okay, so the difference between that red dress I just wasn't paying attention. The red dress and the cream dress is the v-neckline. So the suggested fabrics have quite a range. They range from a drapey crepe or a printed silk to a stiff wool flannel or a tweed. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, sewing notions, thread seam binding, stretch lace, and a 22 inch zipper. Nice, so you don't even need that many notions for this. I just thought this was adorable. I'm so happy they included this picture. It just makes a world of difference. And it means that instead of making one dress, I will probably be making two, possibly three. So that would be Simplicity 7091. And bonus, because they ripped this straight out of a Simplicity magazine, there's also another vintage pattern on the back. Now, obviously, I don't have the pattern for this, but the artwork is really pretty. If I had this pattern, I think I'd make this one right here. It's kind of up my alley. <laughs> but anyway, that is Simplicity 7091. There we go. And that's it. Those were all of the patterns that I picked up since my last pattern haul. I did get quite a few this time around, which definitely means I have my work cut out for me. <laughs> and hopefully I can crank out these beautiful patterns very soon. But if not, they'll just be added to my ever-growing list of things that I want to make. All right, guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from my channel, more pattern hauls, more sew-alongs, more monthly makes, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all next time. Bye!